Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, turn on your notification bell and join the family. In this video guys, we're gonna talk about Andrew Tate revealing that he was offered 20 million dollars to be Taylor Swift boyfriend. Let's talk about it, shall we? Because we know that when it comes to men, Taylor Swift does, in fact, have a reputation. And we know that Hollywood is being exposed this year, 2024. And Andrew is now letting us know that he was offered $20 million to be with Taylor Swift, but he knew that if he had taken the offer, he would be signing himself over to the elites. He would have been selling his soul, but he's no fool. And as such, he did not fall for that trick. Let's take a look at this clip of Andrew Tate revealing the $20 million offer. And then we'll get back with the rest of our commentary. If you took the money, You'd probably be Taylor Swift's boyfriend right now. Bro, <laughs> full of vaccine. Yeah, well, no, you'd be that guy. I, well, you could have been the booster guy. Yeah, I 100% could have been Taylor Swift's boyfriend. <laughs> I could have taken the saline injections because uh -huh. the famous people, they can't be dying, right? So they don't take the real no. vaccine. I could have taken the saline injections. I could have been Taylor Swift's boyfriend. I could have had Dua Lipa and Katy Perry in the corner cocked. I could have been sitting around being king of it all. I could have taken Britney Spears for a wild ride. She's crazy. That would be <laughs> an interesting night. But yeah, I could have sold my soul and I would have been at the Grammys, at the Oscars, hanging around with all these people and I'd be Andrew Tate and I could have just shut up about certain things and I probably could have kept a semblance of my message instead of few things and like skirted on the edge of trying to motivate people, but not saying too much and just sat there and took the fame and took the money and not go to jail and I could have done all of that, but I would have sold my soul, man. Mm. Don't you understand? <laughs> Maybe I'm stupid. I, sometimes I look in the mirror and think, am I dumb? Mm. Like, am I just so petty and principled am i am i an idiot couldn't i have just taken the money and spent time with my children and had a fantastic life did i make a mistake and then every once in a while something happens and it reminds me that i didn't make a mistake and mm -hmm. i'll give you a very simple example of it last time i felt like i really did the right thing is when i did piers morgan and he started asking me about israel palestine yeah and he started telling trying to get me to say what he wanted me to say and i was like no it's a genocide mm. and i don't care what you say that is wrong and that is what i believe we don't have to even argue whether what i believe is true even though it is the point is if i had signed that contract i would have been told what to say and when i put his stupid ass in his place about the vaccine and about israel and palestine i felt good again i was like no i've made the right decision and sorry taylor you're not going to get the top G. You're stuck with Mr. Vaccine. You're not allowed me because you've sold your soul and I refused. So I've now changed the dynamic. It's not that I don't get access to their life. They don't get the benefit of me being part of their stupid club. Mm. I win. They need me more than I need them. I would argue right now nobody gives a solitary fuck about most of those people. Get the Grammy Awards and line them all up and say name them. And I guarantee you can name three or four and the rest of them you don't have a clue who they are. Yeah. People who have sold their souls for money, destroyed their own integrity, and we don't even know who they are. They don't even get fame off the back of it. So I don't want to be part of their club. Taylor Swift's going to have to dream of me for the rest of her life. She's going to have to settle with second place. She's not allowed to talk G because my soul is not for sale. No, that's the Matt Kim podcast. You guys can check it out for the full interview. But I have to say, when Kenneth Owens did that sit down with um, Andrew Tate, it really opened my eyes to a lot of things. Now, when we speak about Kenneth Owens, people think that, oh, because you're black and she's a black girl, you're defending her. That's definitely not the case because there have been times when I've spoke out against Candace Owens. But if the girl is right about something, like hell, of course, I'm going to echo that sentiment. And when she said that she believed the allegations against Andrew Tate are false and she outlined why she believed they were false, you could not deny what she was saying, right? Not only that, when you look at how everything played out with Andrew Tate, um, last year december right well not last year december but the year before you could actually see that something was wrong no we know that the guy is just aggressively 
loud and honest, and it can rub a few people the very wrong way. But we have to say that the guy, he does have integrity and he has been exposing the industry and he has been telling people, whenever you don't do what they want you to do, they are going to come after you. And this is why he's currently telling the boxer, I think his name is Gary, that, you know, when you speak about Hollywood, the elites in a certain manner, they will come after you. It's not if, it's not but, it's not maybe, they will. So now he's exposing that if he had taken Taylor Swift offer, because this is what Hollywood does for press. Hollywood wants all of that focus and all of that distraction. So he was offered $20 million to be with Taylor Swift. And it's not just that they wanted him to be Taylor Swift's boyfriend. They wanted a lot more than that. And it's like, here's $20 million and we're going to give you the hottest girl, one of the most talked about girl in the industry, right? It's all a part of their plot to control and manipulate people. Andrew Tate has been opening a lot of eyes and they cannot have that. He has been speaking out a lot against Hollywood and they hated to see that because Andrew has been just revealing far too much and he was a threat. Now, I don't think it is over as it relates to Hollywood going after him. It's only that because so much has been revealed, they may tone down on their intentions, but I don't think it's over. But I think he's smarter and I think that he's more protected because more people are, you know, realizing what is going on. The veil is thinning. But guys, that's all I have to say about that. Let me know what are your thoughts. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and see you guys later. Peace.